Hello and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf TV. I'm Piers Ward and we are here in Turkey, Andy. We are. We are here with the Turkish Airlines Open doing some filming. So, Andy, it's the Impact Show. It is, and it's a very appropriate video today. We're going to show you how to play a soft landing pitch shot. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so it's the Impact Show. This is where we answer questions on your game to help you create impact. Yes, and if you want to get your questions answered, go to Facebook, Twitter and Instagram today and get posting. We could be answering yours. Yeah, we looked forward to that. So we are here, as we said, at the Turkish Airlines Open and we wanted to give you um, the, the option to theme the questions. So we have a great question from Greg Jackson. We had lots of them, so really thankful for that. But Greg Jackson has asked, can you show me how to play a soft landing chip or pitch shot? Yes. Soft landing. Well, that's what we want when we're playing, Greg. So, uh, great question. So, we've been very fortunate to actually come to Gloria Golf Club in Antalya. And we've got some, um, there's some amazing holes here, by the yes. way. This is the first one we've really seen. The 16th. We are the right of the flag. We've got a lot of rough to go over. We have downhill. And then we flatten out for around about 15 feet, 12 feet. And then it goes downhill again toward the water. Wow, glad you're nice playing this. this one, Pierce. This is nice. <laughs> so Greg, I think, may have commented he wanted Andy to play it as well. <laughs> Maybe I said that. But anyway, so we've got a quite an extreme shot here, Andy, yeah. that we need to stop the golf ball. So we need to land it softly. Yeah. So spinning it isn't really an option because on a spin shot, we need to allow for hitting the ground and then hopping forward and then spinning. Yeah. We haven't got that hot forward area here. So how are you going to play it? Okay, so we need that height. We've got to get it high in a short distance and get it to stop really yeah. quickly. So first of all, I'm going to make sure I go with the most lofty club. So I've got 60 degrees here, the most lofty club in the bag, and that's just going to help me with that elevation. Now, normally in short game, a lot of people get told to, to put the ball position back. Now, that helps create a, a steeper angle into the golf mm -hmm. ball. Now, in this situation, we don't want it steep. We want a shallow angle to the golf ball, and this shallow angle is going to help create that initial launch or elevation that we need. So to help do this, all we're going to do is actually move the ball position forward in the stance. So ball position is going to go closer to your front foot. My grip is going to be very soft and light, so we're going to have a very light grip pressure. Now the one thing that's going to be a scary thing to do here, I've got water behind me, we're going to ask you to do a long swing. Now it takes practice, but it may seem a bit scary at first, so we're going to have a long, slower golf swing, you know, keeping the softness and keeping the pressure really light. Now here's the important thing on the way through. As we swing through, we're going to keep the hands and arms soft, and we're going to nice, nice and relax these arms on the way through. So the arms are going to be fairly close to the body. You can even see the grip end of the club here is quite close to the lead pocket. And one thing you can do just to help keep that pressure is go ahead when you finish, just drop the club down here. And that's just going to enable you to keep that pressure light and get that club sort of get sliding underneath the golf ball, give it elevation that you need, Pierce. Sounds simple. Right, Andy, I have one more practice so we can then hit the shot and I'm just going to talk through this. What I like about these when Andy plays these shots is his arms are nice and soft. And that's the Seve move, by the way, there. So as he drops the club down, his arms close and lets the club go, Seve Ballesteros would do that a lot. Right, so here we Take go, Andy. Take some practice distance this as well. Gonna, you've, you've got a this very is small landing area. It's got plenty of height. Has he got the stop? Oh, lips out there. Just about a, a foot and a half I was going to ask him to play too, but there's no way he's going to want to play another one there. <laughs> but you can see, by doing those things there, great shot, Andy. By doing those things there, it allows you to stop the ball pretty soft. I know that's hit the hole there and it jumped up, but it would have probably made it four foot past the flag. And for, for to get the ball to stop that quickly on that kind of shot there was a pretty good aid. Yeah, pretty good you know, and do you know the difference between a long game shot where you get this full extension here, a lot of tension in the hands yeah. and the arms compared to this high soft landing shot? You go ahead and allow that club to drop. It's going to make things a lot easier. Okay, Greg, hope that helps. Make sure you post any questions you have down below and also hit the like button for us if you enjoyed that video. And if you don't already, subscribe to the channel for more videos every single week. Click the link right there. Absolutely. Now, guys, we've been on a fantastic trip here at Turkey and we've done some videos with Rory McIlroy, amongst others, but Rory McIlroy, make sure you check out those videos. We're sure you'll enjoy them.